testify for you. I do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch, I do it. All that I'm around, you scared to do. I'm not. As long as you joking, now it's for me. I ain't got it. Popping, skimming, looting. I your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose. everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm felicity and we are here today with another episode of the morrisons which is my format let's play and my girl zanea is actually texting right now she is outside like she's actually outside like my girl is outside painting right now i just want to show you all like this scenery like do y'all see the scenery? I think it's like we're having a heat wave right now because like it is looking very hot. But we still wanted to come out here and do a little painting, you guys. So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like look at this a masterpiece. So this is actually a override, a painting override. I'll leave them down below for you guys so you guys can get this override. One thing about Zanea is that she loves painting. Like, that's one of her skills is that she is level 4. And she just really loves to express herself through paintings and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to put this on a frame. And we're going to put this in our inventory. I don't really want... Oh my god, we can list it on Plopsy. Oh my god. Okay, so I just, I don't really want to sell it though. So we're probably just going to put it in our inventory. But I think she's like viewing it right now. But it's so nice outside. But it is a heat wave. Like, look how hot it is. It is so, so, so hot. So today, you guys, we are supposed to be having our, oh my god, she looks a damn mess. <laughs> I had her do her makeup and she looks crazy. Aoki is always on her laptop like she is never like not on her laptop But one thing that she did want to do is she wants to donate to a cause So what she wants to give back as much as she can so that's exactly what we're gonna do We have the funds to do so also in the last episode y'all I was literally having her be mean to Iran and noticing not noticing that she is a generous sim and so her being mean is just not her type of personality not her type of cup of tea so we are not going to do that anymore. We're kind of just going to be more polite about things. So, <laughs> um, we're going to, uh, ooh, with Samoans for everyone, speak of the trees. I feel like she would definitely do something like this. Like, she's more, like, poetic. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't want anyone talking about my Sims' hairy arms, okay? 
leave their hairy little arms alone. Also, another thing is you can see right here is she wants to have a child. Um, it says the charity is appreciative for the sizable donation and thanks Aoki Morrison on their donor newsletter. Speaking of new newsletter, we need to finish our um, Tomerang newsletter. Oh my god, you know what's crazy is that like I literally was thinking like I want her to have a baby. I definitely feel, oh, listen to fan, no. Speaking of that, we need to actually go downstairs. Okay, we need to clean that up too, but we need to go downstairs and tell Aran to get his booty outside, okay? Well, I'm sorry, girl, but you're going to have to be the next one up, okay? So, we're going to ask you to pay the fine. Um, But like I was saying, I actually do want her to, like, have a baby for real. I feel like... She would just look so cute pregnant, okay? <laughs> I just want her to have a baby. She's gonna do another painting. Uh, my baby is literally crying. I don't know what's wrong, but we're gonna find out. Um, oh, you need to go pee again? I mean, you can go potty yourself because you can go downstairs. So we're gonna go potty. Hopefully you don't do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's gonna sting so bad. Uh, no, we're not going in the pool. We're going to say hello to Miss Marley. I think it's Marley. I think that's how I'm pronouncing. Is that? I don't know. Also, we have a new tenant in the building, you guys. So we're gonna introduce ourselves before we host a little pool party. Pool party's supposed to start at three, but we're not gonna make it for three. We're gonna just make it for like four, I guess. It's still like really hot and stuff. We can wait for it to cool down. We're gonna talk up Aran and tell her what happened. And ask her if she knows about what happened with the whole fine thing and him not wanting to pay it. Or maybe there might be something like a household thing where they don't have the funds, but he made it seem like he just didn't want to pay it. Just like, yeah. Aran sounds like he's an absolutely pro girl. He definitely isn't, okay? I need you to pay this fine. So we're going to ask you politely for this fine. You need to pay. She's like, girl, calm down. Oh, look, here you go. Thank you very much. Okay, $600. I appreciate it. If it was me, I would have said count your days, Miss Lady. Count your days because it was very short. Thank you so much for paying the fine. I appreciate it. So my girl is still hungry for some reason. Um, She's going to come back inside and literally notice that Miss Ma'am decided to poop on the floor. Um, which was kind of my fault, but it's still... Oh my god, look at this painting. We can probably sell this. Sell this to the collector. Let's do it. Entrepreneur skill acquired. My girl, Miss Entrepreneur. Um, she wants to enthuse about the outdoors. I really want her to explore Tomerang a lot more. I still also want to visit the little rabbit hole um tiger sanctuary i don't know what it's called but i do want to visit that as well but um we're gonna come down here oh my god three sister chilies oh people really be oh okay we might just have to go um i want to just introduce ourselves to the new tenant already so that um they don't even got no furniture or nothing in here which sucks but we're going to oh my god there's no one here well, I guess he's not coming. It's fine. Um, so I like looking at the oh girl. Marley. I mean, it's not Marley, it's Maylee, y'all. I'm sorry. She about to have her some macadamia cookies, I think. What are you doing, my love? Is it hot? I feel like it's hot outside and she's she's really not oh, she's addicted to caffeine. She loves her some coffee and some hot chocolate. But I think I'm gonna actually have her come back over here now. And where is she probably hiding? Why is Aran coming upstairs too? This is not a little hangout session. We are not cool. Oh, she needs affection. Oh my God, I did not realize that. Okay, my love, let's go and give you some attention. I didn't mean to. I feel like her and Melee could actually get along. Like, I feel like they would be really close friends. Like, look, yay girl. 
let's go on pride for secrets just because let's see before anyone yo there's like flies and stuff all over the poo uh -huh. no can you clean this up this is so just like disgusting Oh, she discovered her secret. Ooh, juicy sinking feeling. I'm trying to be better about this. So don't judge Mel, but really, so what if I've washed a few dishes in the bathroom sink every now and then? In the end, a sink's a sink. It's not like it's any less sanitary than the kitchen sink. Girl, you are disgusting. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Um, whether or not you believe me, I can assure you that there were very good reasons for me to do this. You just wouldn't understand. Okay. Girl, you are nasty. You are nasty, and I'm gonna confront you. Okay, I'm gonna confront you about your disgustingness. Because why would you... We gonna confront her. No, no, no. Wait, I don't want to do it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Because we need to be on good terms, okay? I'm gonna I'm keep your secret for, for now. We gonna start being a little aggressive and start telling people, oh, she's cleaning for us. No way she just put it in her in her dress. Uh -huh. <laughs> my gosh. Okay, so we need to have this little pool party, oh. y'all. Girl, get off of my computer. You know what, can you just go away at this point? You're upsetting me. Um, and we're gonna lock this computer as well. I want her to um, write a little love letter to her little boo thing. Oh my gosh, she just farted. Okay. Well, we're gonna write a love email to Elijah. Tell him how much we miss him and, you know, things aren't the same. Girl, do not make any food right now because we about to have a little show. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start the pool party at around like six. But I want her to finish this little email real quick. Yes, she likes the writing. Did she get all? Oh. Her relationship did go up with Elijah. So hopefully he enjoyed that little email. Or when he sees it, he enjoys it. Um, but yeah, we're going to start getting ready for the pool party. Because it's already about to be six. Okay, so Zanae is about to go change into her outfit. And I'm going to have Miss Ma'am change into her outfit as well. And it's literally already starting, so, you know. They're going to change into her outfit, and then I'm going to actually... Oh my god, why is she tired? You know, I'm going to cheat this. Okay, I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to cheat it. Don't do too much. We're going to um go and apply some perfume. We already did our skincare and stuff, so we don't really need to do that. I'm going to have you... Do you even have perfume? Let's go and use our perfume as well. And then we'll make our way downstairs. Courtney is calling us. Hey, Aoki, I've been thinking about getting to know Aron. Oh, no, baby. To be honest, if I were you, I wouldn't do that. We got beef with him. We got low-key beef with him, okay? Where is my baby? Oh, my God. I'm going to help you a bit. My baby is like... We gonna help you. Let's let's chew on the ball, and we're gonna help you. All right, so let's go downstairs, you guys. This is a very late pool party, but like, who does early pool parties? Like, come on, that's for the lames. Oh, I think the mixologist lady is is very much confused. Very confused. Okay, so they're swimming and stuff. Oh. Look who arrived, y'all. Grady. He is one of the new tenants. And I did not make him, y'all. And unfortunately, we couldn't invite, um, I think it's Maylee's daughter. Because we don't know her technically, so we couldn't really do that. But we're having a little late night swim. Late night party thing. We got some food already out here, so we might as well just grub on this. Let's try these three uh, sister foods. Let's do that. My girl about to do a backflow. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, um, so, so so we need to socialize by the poolside. Of course, go swimming. I don't think Ayoki's going to touch the water because she's just too bougie for the water. So. Look at her. <laughs> Hey, 
I got you a special gift for you because you're such an, a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is. Our dead violated. Who violated again? The neighbors would be surprised. I think it's, oh my God, please don't tell me it's them again. Oh my God, it was the McFierce agreement. The trash overload. It's your first day and you couldn't do any, you couldn't even put some trash in the trash. I'm wondering if there's actually supposed to be like a trash dispenser thingy that I'm supposed to put because ain't no way that we're keep, we keep getting a rule violation for some trash overload. <laughs> you know, we're gonna enjoy right now. We're not gonna, you know, ask him to pay the fine or nothing like that. We're just gonna enjoy the water in the poolside. She's very hungry, so we're gonna go and eat. Relax on a floater. We're gonna do that. Okay, well, it's only them that came out. Oh, bro, the way that he is swimming. Why is he swimming like this? <laughs> like, you need to calm down. It was never that. Oh. <laughs> Did y'all seem like he wants to fly out the water? I'm gonna go and share some kind words with him. You know, this is his first time here and whatnot. So we might as well. Where is... Your your son and your daughter, Jeffrey. Like, did they not? Oh my God! This whole family is violating. Hello, you're eating my bread and my marshmallows. See, this is why I cannot be friends with y'all. Where is my dog? This is such a mess. Oh my God! She wants to eat it so bad, but she knows she's not supposed to. Oh, look at Ico here. Okay, we talking to him at the pool side. Okay, okay. Is, are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? Look, stop. She is engaged, okay? And we also need to thank our guests for coming. What the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> scared me. I really thought that was like an object baby, like glitched or something. I'm gonna start locking y'all out. Why are y'all all upstairs? And our dad is here, like... <laughs> Why are y'all upstairs right now? I guess we're having a party up here and we're having a whole loaf of bread. Like, we're having a bread party, a loaf of bread party. And you're hugging it. Like, what is happening right now? The mixologist is making her, her debut here. And she's feeling mad comfortable. You know what? We're not mean, so... We'll leave it alone. Oh my god, why are they going upstairs? I should have locked the doors and I didn't. Well, that was my fault. It's fine. I'm not even tripping about it. It is what it is. It's still like a little party or whatnot, so it's fine. But them taking all of my snacks is what I'm not fine about. Like, okay, like, okay, y'all. We're gonna thank them for coming anyways. I appreciate y'all for coming. Yeah, we're gonna thank for coming. Yes. Oh my god, do not tell me y'all about to. <laughs> oh, hell to the no. You are not sick. In my child's bed, this is the worst party. No, what? No. 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 Girl, go and notice this right now. Go and notice this right now. Oh my god. There's no way! Tell them to stop. Are you serious? Girl, you should not be happy about this. You are not doing anything about this. Way too welcome. Wait, this is Aoki's house. This isn't their house. Aoki is sure everyone's well aware of that phrase. My home is your home, but this is going way too far. Oh, she's mad, but she's not that mad. Oh, yeah. See, now... See, now, y'all just, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna say anything. Just get out. Don't wanna see you here. We're ending this, we're ending this, this party. Tell everyone to get out. <laughs> everyone get the hell out of my house. Get out, get out, get out. You guys, what is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. What do y'all think we should do about that situation? Because honestly, if it's up to me, I'm kicking them out. 
I'm not even, I'm evicting them just like that because that is so disrespectful. But if y'all have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is insane. You know what? She's going to sleep after this. This is just crazy. We're going to sleep. This, you know, landlord thing, it's harder than I thought. I, it's way harder than I thought. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park. I really did, but it's definitely not. I don't even know where my dog is. Oh, okay. You're going to play. I want to play with you, so we're going to play with you. Okay, so she's feeling a little better. That's good. We're just going to go take a shower for real. Take a quick shower. And then we're going to change our outfit. And I'm going to call up Aiko and see if she wants to do something. Oh, there is dust on the floor. We need to definitely clean that up. That's looking a mess. I really cannot believe they did one rule. See, the Lee family has not broken a rule since. Like, that's actually so good. They so good. Everyone else, like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Y'all, look what is happening. She's sneaking out. I go, why are you running? What is you doing? We're trying to sneak out. She's running. I'm just like, girl, I ain't getting caught at all. Y'all, they're really out here so late. Girl, stop trying to leave. You such a wood. We were gonna actually make, like, get something, but they close at 2 a.m. Like, we need to come out here a little later, but it is so pretty out here, y'all. It's just so pretty. It's just so pretty out here. And what they really were gonna do was they were gonna try and, like, pickpocket some people. And so we're going to have her come over here and do like a little introduction to this guy. And we about to follow her. Aiko is the one that's leading the way, you guys, but it's like, hey. It's like broad, it's broad daylight, but we're still going to do it anyways. And she's not even here to even see this, but we're going to try and pick up Mr. Omar. She's not even here to see this. Tima, He didn't allow, he didn't allow, we have to run, we have to run, we have to run, we have to run. Sinead's not even aware of what's going on. She's just like, here, like, oh. Um, okay. She, she is too tired for this. Like, she came and do, Who is Kevin? I don't know you. She went all the way back and left Zinea. Oh my god, it's 6 a.m. We're about to just come over here. Girl, you are crazy, but I love it. They really snuck out the house, you guys. And they proud of it, too. That is so terrible. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, at least she Every made a friend. Yeah, like her mom said that she was going to. Yeah. So we're about to go upstairs. We need to sneak inside as quick as we can. Oh my god, she's right there. We have to try and sneak here. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak. <laughs> Y'all, I'm freaking crying, you guys. But we do have school in like literally in a couple of hours and I hope that um, Aiko is actually going to the same school as us. Well, we're going to end this episode once she gets back upstairs and goes to sleep. It's been a very long day. We have exactly an hour before school and we're just going to go straight to bed. We're going straight to bed. She's still so sad about the move and stuff. Maybe she is regretting, like, pickpocketing somebody, but... Oh, she's really here crying. I feel so bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
why do you think Zane is really doing this stuff like this mischievous type of behavior do you think that she really just doesn't care about you know getting caught do you think that it's because of the move or do you think it's just everything she's just going through a whole roller coaster let me know in the comments down below i love y'all so much thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in my very next video